Welcome to the Invasion Session 4. It is the 6th of May 2020. I am Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hi there, my name is Gregor. I'm going to be playing Adair, a Air Genasi who's a bit of a rogue. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing Alvin, who goes by Tink and is a Gnome Artificer. Hi, I'm Calum M. I'm playing Cognac the Barbarian, uh, who is a turtle. 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 Good evening. I'm Alexander, and I will be playing Fleabite the Skaven, who's still pretty terrible at everything. Hi, I'm Ewan, and I'll be playing Layuda, the Loxodon Druid, who's not allowed to monkey around. Oh, yeah, cool. Uh, I'll do that in there, right? Callum? Greetings. I'm Callum. And I will be playing Thea, the Priestess of Chaos. And you're Callum B. I'm Callum B. Well, you know, we have to assume we got that from not being in. <laughs> Process of elimination. Sure. Well... <laughs> I gracefully didn't say I was calling me. So, yeah, we're all good. And what do the group remember from last time? We're on a boat. Fisherman. Boats, boats, boats! C, C, C. I'm not going to drown. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Perfectly timed dish rolls, yep. Anything else? I mean, I feel like more happened. We I mean, went to see a boat. the counsellor. Mm -hmm. And she decided to hire us to go to another city. What city? That, that has a name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which Rinstad. is... Rinstad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see? Follow my goal already, Trips. Keep me um, on the path. We attempted to convince her that we are worth more than nothing, but apparently that didn't really work. Failed negotiation. Um, she gave us a boat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we don't get to keep it. Well, she thinks we don't she get thinks to keep she it. Thinks she gets it back. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, she thinks she's going to get it back in one piece. <laughs> Thea was super happy about getting on a boat, so uh, yeah. basically. Uh, as much as a princess of chaos can, priestess of chaos can run. Uh, I'll take yeah, princess, that's fine. No, hi. Just stay about <laughs> Princess of chaos. Um, and then we sort of followed suit eventually. Um, Lauda became a bit foxy just to see if it can try and track down Thea, um, make sure she goes to the right place. Um, got to the boat. Wanted to just sort of run on it, but then the guards stopped us and then had to get the letter from, I believe, Adair. Um, um, I remember there was a letter, I can't remember if I had that. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I did? Oh, cool. So we eventually got on the boat. Um, I remember at the end, Ryan completely juked us and we've been sent on a wild goose chase and some other mad boy is showing up. Um, how dare you? Ryan isn't a, an entity in the game, okay? <laughs> I am above so the gods. Okay, <laughs> fine. Okay, fine. Uh, the the GM has made it that. Um... Oh, here we go. GM hate already. <laughs> no. Guess no, who's no, getting no, the storm on their journey? <laughs> not, 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 not GM. Not GM hate, but the GM has deemed it so that uh, the lady who sent us away. Um, Lady Goldenfold or whatever, Vanessa. Lady <laughs> Goldenfold? Oh, that's getting added to the list. <laughs> Lady. I can prove that that is definitely not the right name. Goldenfold. Vestil, that was it. Um, Vestil. Yeah, Hamalisha. Was... Yes. <laughs> Councillor Al Vestil Alexander Hamalisha. Hamilton. Right. So Alexander Hamilton has basically sent us away. Lady when Goldenfold. And <laughs> is like making it out as if, like, you know, we're not actually showing up yet. And then some other guy came in being like, yo, I'm, I'm not going to wait in mine. Because 
all the council are still waiting on us to show up, but we're not there because we're on a boat. Yeah. I mean, that's your assuming um, they were waiting on you, right? That's your assuming that they were waiting on you. Yeah, they weren't waiting on us, as far as I'm aware. As far as uh -huh. I'm aware, they weren't waiting on you guys. You guys have already had your meeting yeah, with the council. Crossing us by talking to somebody else. Well, we had a we had a meeting with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then she's like, "Okay, go go away," and sent us to this place. But then the council were like, "Where are they? Why are they not? Why are they late?" And you and you sure they didn't say that? But yeah, I don't remember that. No, I don't think it was about us. It wasn't about us that us being late. It was about a contact that was coming to meet them being late. I still don't trust her. I think she. I think she sent us on a wild goose trip. The leader she's of the it, city has sent us away because she doesn't want to yeah. deal with us. She's like, <laughs> right, I'm done with, I'm because, done with these guys. Because she is, she's a turncoat, basically. It's like when your mum and dad have like their 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 snooty friends come over and you're told to stay in your room and behave. That's <laughs> that's where you have been sent to your to room stad, apparently. <laughs> Oh, Is there a chance if this ship's actually going to be seaworthy? We're just going to get out so far and sink. <laughs> just much I, I, I did Cognac. That. Just like, Cognac standing make... in the bottom, being like, why is the water? God damn it, everywhere I go. Some, somebody make sure that the plugs are <laughs> in it. Boats have plugs, right? Boats have plugs, right? Just yeah. putting, putting Alvin in as the plug, right? This will keep you out of trouble. Um, See, this is why I needed the rope, because if the boat sinks, I can tie you all to me and swim to land. Yeah, because that went so Wait. well. Slowly walks underwater. You can be like the tugboat. You just drag the boat to run behind you. He's kind of like one of those dog walkers with the belts with all the leashes coming off of it, only to all of your corpses in the water. That's what it's going to be like. Good boy in CA. Oh dear. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that was for the most part what happened. Yeah, I am. Um, Couple of um, overall admin points and continuity issues. I don't think I wanted to take like a week every single hit like square on the map. That seems ludicrous. I've decided that I don't want that anymore. I don't actually want it to take you guys months to cross the world, right? Mm -hmm. So we've got a really fast boat. That's what it is. Like I feel like I would like it to be less time. So the time between squares might change depending on. Plot. Plot, <laughs> plot yeah. required. Plot, yeah. But plot assisted travel. Just as Perhaps the map is just not drawn very well and it's not good at showing exact distances. I think what you're saying is my map is beautiful, how dare you? But um the the fact like said the week, sorry, the the week of everything between each other now, nah, let's not go with that because that's too much. Let's say it's somewhere between two and three days. Um depending on your mode of transport and the terrain involved because yeah i think it probably needs more factors that i don't really want to deal with right um but we'll we'll see how that goes as time goes on but i think for the most part it's gonna take i don't know what's that gonna be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it's gonna be like 10 days or whatever to actually like hit land landfall on the other kind of content as it were that's what i was gonna say are we go like is there like another town that we're going to be landing at first and then going to there Rose might be a village or? right but yeah, there might also just be land where you just a fishing village <laughs> i mean it depends how well you say uh, navigate also you might choose to just sail away from villages and like sneakily go on the land right depends how much of a low profile you want i mean they're implying that we don't uh, sink before we get there <laughs> A lot I'm, of implications, I'm, yes. I'm kind of interested in the city that's under the sea. What, well, Atwin? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll my bypass home. Runstad altogether and just go there. Yeah, because it's like, oh my god, will it be home to the dolphin people? Oh, Clearly no, that's... that's where we were supposed to go. What? What? What's what? Who's, who's watting? Will it be home to the dolphin people, my homeland? Yeah, I know. I, I tried to ignore it as well. Don't worry. It's well, well, it's underwater now, so yeah. Well, in my mind, it's sort of like half in, half out. Like there's some above, some below. I mean, it, it, in your mind, it Hopefully. can be that, but it's not. So half. <laughs> of it, so, it's so all half at the bottom of, of the sea. <laughs> yeah. So half of it can be in, 
like inhabited by dolphin people. I mean, I feel like it's the bubbles. turtles are building it, um, oh and, God, until yes, yous, and, and until you and until you go there, you won't know anything about it because none of you have been to Atween. Um So yeah, change course. Technically, I'm pretty sure that Cognac's egg was carried from old Atween all mm. the way to like little Bellinor. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, so. Wasn't abandoned on a beach with thousands of brothers to be eaten by eagles. No, they were sold to rich people that wanted like turtle Did children you know? and pets. Lovely. Yeah, right. Absolutely horrible. But it was all the money that the turtles needed to try and like rebuild Atween. So. But he was delivered by Stark, right? That's how. He yeah, Stark, the, the postman <laughs> uh, <Stark>. turtle. <laughs> Wait, Iron Man's. Those there? eagles that were picking up the eggs were actually just delivery delivery men. <laughs> uh, fucking hell. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we're off to a really good start, guys. Yeah, but like, so I want like travel time between places might vary. Like, I just I was looking at you know the map weather and, permitting. Yeah, and GM permitting, I guess. Um, so that's that's fine. I... Beyond that, I think that's about it, really. Except people from Barris are called the Buru. Um, that's that's it. Really, and that's the last I want to hear about that. Quite frankly, Callum and Ewan, how dare you? <laughs> Why? Yes. Um, but beyond that, I, let's talk about goals then. So, yeah. Oh, we should look at the goals page. Yeah. Oh, so, I'm already on it. Look at that. Wow. So, Same. let's say uh, I'll run down what we've got. Right. So, Alvin has a goal here. That's keep the party on the path to Runestad. So, <laughs> I think he just failed his goal. <laughs> that's an interesting one because you just said let's go to the turtle place, but no, but that was Scott saying that. <laughs> <laughs> <Scott> saying that. <laughs> right, okay. So keep party on path to Runstad. Um, what? Well, where's the challenge in that? Right? Like, how how do you how do you achieve that goal? Make sure that we don't get side. Yeah, basically make sure that we don't get side tracked and then go to somewhere else instead. Goals that have a make sure we don't get is a bad goal. Just FYI. Um, Like a goal that says kill, I don't know, the Grim Fandango, even though the boat's called the Fandango. Like if you had to like kill a specific person or assassinate the Duke, for example, like Mm. that's a great goal because it's really, really easy to tell when you've completed it. You see, like, what will Alvin specifically be doing to keep the party going to Runestad? Because honestly, can anyone else think of anybody more likely to get distracted on the way? (laughs) (laughs) Which is why it's such a hard goal. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sure all the personalities are taking you off track. Do you know what? That's fine. Yeah, like, okay. What's that? That's fine, we'll keep it. Cognac? Um, yep. Catch a barrel load of fish on the journey. Okay, do you have a barrel? I assume boats have barrels. But a barrel load is not specific, it's just a. An but area then how will you know you have that amount of fish? People will look <laughs> at it and be like, whoa, that's a barrel load of fish. What if you carry catch more than that, then you failed? This is a version of Venice bullshit right here. Um, <laughs> you see? It says our specifics aren't good. So just catch fish. Catch at least barrel. Thank you. That was the word I was trying to think of. <laughs> on A. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> Missed the A. Uh, the more oh, you look oh, at the word barrel, the less it looks like a word. Um, I know. Is that how barrels fell? I don't know. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, Barrel. Flea bite. I see you've added one, which is win a wager against a deer. Ooh. Is that acceptable? Uh, it depends. Uh, what would you deem a wager? Because if it is a case of, cool, I want to play uh, rock, paper, scissors. And then you win, and that's all done in RP. It's not really a goal. 
right? There's no challenge to that. Does that make sense? Uh, yes. Right. My my initial thought was I wanted to win something from him, but I didn't want to put something specific because I thought that would make it worse. <laughs> well, I'm more than happy to play at cards, and it just so happens I have my own deck. <laughs> Surprise, surprise, hey? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it just needs to involve some form of active challenge that a character needs to work on in-game, right? So that's, like, pretty much the main qualifier for a goal is it needs to be something that could, could fail. It can't just be like, turn up at this place. Because, obviously, if I make sure you don't ever intend to get there, then, you know, mm -hmm. that's why some yeah. goals are bad goals. Um. I, I, it's just more the, the fact that I couldn't get him to engage with the wager last time at all. Uh, That's yeah. why I feel like it's a challenge, because just getting him to commit to something is going to be the hardest part of it. Mm -hmm. I suppose it depends what you're offering. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, it's vague enough that it might work, um, but we'll, we'll see how how coy we all are when we try and complete it. Uh, Layuda. Repair relationship with Thea, mutually achieve something together with teamwork. Yeah, I think that's indeed it's, again cool. st same with the precursor of it does really come up to the the way to complete that is when I ask Thea at the end of the game when yeah. we're reviewing goals. Do you think your relationship is repaired? Um, mm -hmm. Which is interesting. And then Thea, I see you've been working on one there, which is a make sure the ship reaches land in one piece. No, it doesn't. It's no longer valid. No. Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, <laughs> it's already in multiple pieces. How has this happened? Um, wait, what? Wait. Hold on. Uh, Keep in mind, plot means some things will never happen, goal wise. Yeah. So, obviously, if I do something that's no longer relevant, assume it's because it's no longer relevant and try not to overthink it. Okay. Yeah. Spoiler warning! Yes. <laughs> and now for the spoilers he warned you about. So, what would you like Thea to achieve this session? Oh, we're no more. No more Callum, apparently. No. Uh, is, he not, is he no more? What? Right. So, Hello. I asked you a question. Oh, sorry. What did you say? Nope, it's gone. Too late, you missed it. Oh no. No! Uh, so we've got here what make sure we have slash still have means of transport back to little Belenor. Or I guess anywhere, but I guess that's where we're supposed to go back to after we deal with all this faff. So that also isn't really a good goal, the way it's worded. It's too open-ended and too long-term, right? Because A, right, you okay. don't know how long you're going to spend in Runestad. B, That's true. let's say the boat's already destroyed okay. when we start the game, which I'm not saying it is, I'm just saying what if it was, right? Instantly you need to find something else, which is good, right? But get the party transport back to Little Belinor is a much better goal when our business is done in Runestad, right? Can you see why uh -huh. it's a better one? Because it's a lot more directed. It's what yes. you are doing, why, etc. Cool. Um, I can't just use that then. I want you to board that better. Okay. Perfect. Get the... Adair, you have put Oops, down learn to navigate using the stars. Do you have any yes. like any navigation uh, tools? <laughs> I don't, but because we're going on a ship and Thea has vehicle uh let's see vehicle i'm Navig not sure if it's just navigate or if i should class it as learn to sail because they would kind of go hand in hand i mean sure but much like um thea's getting the mm -hmm. ship to land thing it's probably not going to matter i mean it can be a longer term goal yeah you could leave it in place um learn to sail uh, yeah just basically come proficient with the sea vehicles because I don't have that at the moment. Sure, yeah, you can um, do you want to write so that can... in and then we'll have that as it then. Like, you know, um learn to sail just is good enough. Just learn to sail. Which will translate into water vehicle proficiency, yeah. But it mm -hmm. can be learned which to also sail. Helps 
And if I learn to sail, that will also cover the whole possibly learn to navigate via using the stars, like yeah, constellations I, and things. Yeah, like navigate is a totally different set of proficiencies. Mm -hmm. So sailing yes. a boat and operating a boat versus actually navigating are two two different things. So what one would you prefer? Because mm. Thea can teach you one. I don't think she's got proficiency with navigation tools. I might be wrong. Do you actually? You do? Yeah. yeah. Well, Thea can teach you both. Can I put both learn to sail and navigate? It just makes it a longer term goal. Well, I'd like to think I'd be able to get used to the ship first. So learning to sail, especially on this voyage, if it goes ahead. Um, I'd like to think that's something <gasps> that is no! achievable. Control Z. <laughs> Me? No, him. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, sorry. I, I instead of control Z. The tab. No, it's not going to work because I was halfway through editing a thing, and uh, instead of hitting the the tab to to look at the map, I hit home instead. <laughs> so all the words I typed are now gone. <sighs> that sounds crap. Yes. Uh, any adjustments to the the goals besides Callum's mini nightmare? No. Um, Are you um, happy with how I've worded mine? I, as I said, it'd just be a longer, a yeah. longer goal. That's all. Right. Mm. If I can um, just tick part of it off halfway, I'm happy with that. It, it's again, it's an all or nothing thing. So I'll, it would just be you'd learn part one, and that nothing would change in terms of your goal itself written, but in game, obviously things would change. Does that make sense? Like on your sheet, yes. things would change, but on the actual goal, it wouldn't. Done. Cool. Learn to sail. There we go. Do you want to put from Thea, or do you not care about that part? Um, Thea might have her hands full, but there's a crew, I believe, with this ship. No, so there's just no. you guys. Oh. Okay, from Thea. Literally the... Hamalisha covered all this in that session when she said I have <laughs> nobody I can send, hence why I'm sending you guys. I really yeah. enjoy that you just find things out of nowhere and just add them in. It's great. What, sorry? So I really enjoy that you just find things out of nowhere and just add them into the story. I'm like, yeah, this totally happened. What, what do you mean? <laughs> Example. No. no. <laughs> well, like, what he said in, like, the... I was getting a, a crew, like... Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah, right. I get what you mean now. I see you're, you're yeah. having. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Screw you, Gregor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just testing you, man. It just, just, remi it just reminds me of um, Sam Regal from Critical Role. Like they did this, like um... no cross promoting. They don't pay us. So moving on. Okay. Any other goal trip? It's, it's not about watching. It's just they don't pay us for sponsorship. So um... it's like Chinese whispers when somebody just makes up a new story halfway through. Ah, yeah. Or like any time we tell Callum that the money was like ten times what he said. Yeah, pretty much. I will forgot to you. Get the party back. Sorry, get the party transport back to little Bellinor. I, I really wish you'd spell it correctly, but that's fine. Uh, Bellinor. That's fine. I'll fix that. Bellinor. Once our business is done in Runestead. Yeah, that seems fine. Um, I like it. I. Obviously, with Alvin's and Fleabites, they're a bit in flux, but we'll see how they pan out. Um, we might be able to like trim them down or like refine them as the word is looking for, mm. refine them by the end of the session. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, right. Uh, bonds are your your deal. I don't want to waste time on bonds, to be honest, anymore. I feel like you can just tell me if you feel things change, and we'll probably do that at the end of sessions. I think it's better. <laughs> um, so that's fine by me. I, so ideally people aren't editing them for the moment, which is good. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so we open with the shot of the, the ship coming in sight of land. Thea, are you directing you guys to sail around the coastlines? Until you find the village, until we find a suitable like, or are you uh, just no, gonna until dock? we find a suitable landing spot? Unless everyone's like, we should find a village, but otherwise, just kind of like. Well, I mean, you're captain, so. 
Yeah, no, Thea would just basically get everyone, uh, would basically sail around the coast until they find somewhere that was like um, decent enough to land at. Um, like, like a flat beach or something. Uh, just, yeah. Yeah, I think the first thing you find would whether be or not that exactly happens that, yeah. to be a village is it doesn't doesn't concern me. It's probably like some kind of like um, really kind of a profuse pebble beach. Uh, yeah. To be honest, uh, and yeah, like we just have the shot of you guys, I guess, pulling the boat as close as you can. Um, obviously, because of the shoreline, uh, it will need to be left out a bit in the water. Um, yeah, but you can kind of anchor there and, and then everybody pile into the water and just bob your way over to the <laughs> the land. Yeah. Uh, could, um, Cognac just do shuttle runs for does you know? I mean, he did fail swimming true, actually. really badly. <laughs> His way of swimming <laughs> was I'll walk along the bottom of the the sea floor. Um, sort of swimming. Yeah. Right, um, it is. Um, like I'm, I'm sure Alvin can find something or someone to stand on, as well. Everyone. Um, but yeah, either way, you dock the the ship out in the the wonderful, wonderful sea, and you just make your way on to land. Can you now maybe see why? So we've already... a lot, yeah, like the whole journey's done. Look at that. Can you maybe see why I was wow. telling Thea the you know, the boat based yeah. goal was kinda of not worth it. So Yeah. Did I learn to sink? sink? Yeah, no. Goal complete. <laughs> okay. Um so yeah. Do we have any way of confirming that this is the right land mass? <laughs> um well we'll find out, won't we, when uh, Thea gives us her navigation roll and we'll see how far away from the actual target oh, we are. <laughs> So uh, I Thea, that I was proficient with navigators. Too. Is <laughs> is someone going to try and help you with navigation? For example, is anyone else proficient in anything even remotely useful to this? Um, in nature. Um, Would this be survival? Um, no, this is specifically the navigation tool use. Uh, no. Do you want me to just roll mine? I, th I think it's then, just your own. Unless you've got, like, I mean, it's up to you as well. Do you still have your inspiration or is that long gone? I do have my inspiration, yeah. It's up to you how important you think it is. Boof! Uh, attribute. So, I, I need all those answers to all those questions I asked you. Nope, I'm, I'm just rolling. Cool. Uh, well, it would be, what, intelligence, right? Yeah, sure. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> So turns out we went to the, turns out we went to the underwater city after all. Mm. Uh, I regret my choice to not use inspiration. Remember yeah, everybody that matter. make sure you've got your your as set to the the correct character. Oh, Duplicate. as well. That's no, okay. I think you're you're good. Um, you were set to it. No, I wasn't. I'm, yeah. set to, I'm still set to Zig. Okay, it came up Thea, but okay. Yeah, that's because my name's changed in the uh. role playing. Good, good, good. Ah, crafty. So, uh, <laughs> how just see it. can you give me a charisma save now? Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah. Wait. Just give me a second. Roll twenty. It doesn't like me. This is for how confident this comes across to everybody else. <laughs> okay, that's reasonable. Um, mm. If md has got passive perception above that, yeah. um, I do. Um, you'll maybe we're... not be as confident. It's under your skills. Um, what if it's what if it is that? Uh, then you're, you're like meeting or exceeding is the goal. So right, yeah, the difficulty would be twelve. So yeah, anyone with twelve or above on passive, uh, probably isn't like again because if you get the cusp of it, you're maybe like, mm, are you sure? Whereas everybody else that's mm. got fairly above that would be like, this isn't the right place, is it? Um, yeah, I got fifteen. So yeah. Yes, yes, this is definitely the right place. <laughs> Of course, Fleabite has I terrible don't... passes. <laughs> I don't believe this is right. We have arrived! I <laughs> don't think so. Arrived where exactly? Land! <laughs> Land. Destination. Uh, We're on the way to Brunstad. Yeah, like, 
you's probably ended up. Let me just make a new one, right? Let's say, uh, let me edit this icon. <laughs> That's not as bad as I thought. That's just because we're. That's just going can to put we, the icon. That's, uh, can we just call yeah. that not Runestad? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll change that to party um, instead of players. That's... What's my nature? That's actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, Again, I was expecting like down here. Uh, that's just where I put it on the map, so I could type into it, guys. Again, I was oh. here. yeah, I was expecting this to be like there, <laughs> in <laughs> inland. <laughs> just like here. Uh, based on where I, I can put this, let me just move this so I can dump it actually on a coastline. Um, there we go. Like, oh. oh. <laughs> I, I'm waiting for it. To, oh, it's where I thought it was going to be. Yeah, go okay. get. Yep. Yay! That makes sense. Where are at? We're at oh, the there. Tip. Sorry, I see it. Oh, this makes it. actually this does make perfect sense. I feel like the route that um, Thea would have taken would be um, somewhat the, the scenic route to keep kind of like um, as much time in the sea as possible. Yeah, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. As and, you're... Um, it's perfect. I tried to control Z, but it's taking a while to update. Uh, um, but yes, yeah, so, and obviously this place has more open sea near it, so this this does make the perfect landing spot. Yeah, so I think the journey took a couple of days longer than you were expecting it to, and did it have any kind of idea of how long the journey should have taken? Like, if you've ordered things um, in terms of, like, you know, you're waiting on the new shipment of whatever export comes from Runestead. Um, so, yeah. Also, stop that. Because mm -hmm. it just means people have to generate it on their slightly poor performance machines. Because we've currently got both Callum and Gregor dealing with it. Um, yeah. yeah. So I'm on, did I'm on I catch fish? I don't know. Why don't you give me a survival check or a fishing use check? Yeah, you probably caught oh. some fish on the way. Yeah. Probably only mm. enough to to eat, though. You know, as a minimum. You probably weren't that good at it initially, possibly because the ship's moving and Thea's going wherever the hell she wanted in the water. I made up for it with gumption. Yeah, like, you know, you gave it a try. It's not to say that you can't just say, right, okay, I'll be here guarding the boat and I'll just keep fishing and everybody else can go off. You know, right? These are choices you could make. Maybe not mm. great for the party getting back to you, but there are <laughs> there are definitely choices you could make. Um, but yeah, so landfall, landfall happens, guys. And uh, this is the wrong place. Yeah, I anyone, think. anyone that wants to attempt to do some kind of where the fuck are we check? Um, I would like to consider a vibe. Cool. Help. Does somebody else want to help? Yeah, I was gonna say if if we're gonna be helping out, sure. Do you though have both proficiency? Because I feel like if depending on what you're doing, you need proficiency in the thing. Survival. What? I don't have a proficiency in survival. That's most likely to be you. I don't have a survival. Where does it Where does it tell your proficiency? It's the ticks. It's ticked. Ah, oh, right, okay. Uh, I have... MD proficient with survival? Because otherwise you aren't... Oh, I, have, I, have a I have a tick opening. I have a tick. No. Wow, there's a lot of noise. Let's try that more civilly. I, I have a tick. Okay. Uh, survival, no. Alvin, yes, no, no. No, I don't. Fleabite? No, no. <laughs> also, you for navigating this world, probably not going to happen for a long time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> not with my passive, uh, passive wisdom. I just, mm -hmm. you know. um, and so is it just me? Uh, Thea? You, you obviously no, were no. convinced it was here, but yeah. Yeah, it's just, I know, it's here. It's just you, it. buddy. We, we are where exactly we need to be. So it's only me. No I can't even help him, though. Nope. I feel like you would need some kind of basis in having done this in your past, and clearly you didn't. Yeah. So, Although somehow you did make it from a Barris all the way to Little Bell and all. Yeah. Um, but I think a lot of that was maybe wandering. <laughs> wow. Also, when you're a druid, survival is built into you, right? So... Are we getting a roll, Cognac? Cool. Um, I think you can definitely tell that um, 
maybe you can just see this island here. And you probably mm. know enough to know that that's not visible from <laughs> Belenor. Yeah. Little Belenor, I should say. Sorry, not Belenor. It's definitely visible from Belenor. But yeah, Little Belenor can't see that island. So the fact that you can means you're much further like southwest than you should be. Mm. Whereas you should really be able to see like, the mountains that a Barris sit on. Which you can't. So, yeah. Clearly Cognax had a lot of maps in his big mansion that he grew up in. Keep it in the Michelle. Mm. Um, shall I speak to the group? I don't know. You tell me. Or tell them, really. I have a passive wisdom of 12, so I didn't quite believe Thea, and I think that along with the fact I can see the island, I'm definitely going to say. Uh, guys, uh, where are we exactly? I, I don't think this is where we're supposed to be. There's there's an island over there I can see in the distance. Not meant to be there. Or more oh, likely, sure. we're not meant to be here. See? If it wasn't meant to be there, it wouldn't, it would, wouldn't be there. I had to Wait. think about how to say that. Hold on, backtrack. Yeah. If it wasn't meant to be there, it wouldn't be there. I like believe all that's in character. So, I, I would also like kind of, like, turn around surprise and say, like, "Wait, that island's not meant to be there. Wait, did the island move?" I should rephrase everything. We're not meant to be here. That's just that goes into a rage. Let's face it. <laughs> <laughs> so which way do we go? Do we need to go back to sea? Memory yes, serves. Exactly. That's what we need to do. Oh no, no. no. Well, uh, sure. Is it faster by land or sea to get where we're going? Um, based on what you have uh, experienced so far, right? Probably by land. <laughs> Based on sea is sailing. <laughs> also, by sea isn't really an option anymore, is it? But why not? Why? Can try and get a bit close. I thought the boat died. No, no. Are you listening or watching something else? Because <laughs> clearly you're not in this game. I I swear to God, I thought the boat got destroyed, and that's no. why we had to. Start. <laughs> is that not why we had to jump off the boat? <laughs> what? When did? <laughs> we're coming on to land, and I was we like, just can't get close enough to the shore, so we had to drop anchor. Right? Oh, I thought we had to do that because the boat was sinking or something. No, fire. it's Take a big like it. like sloop type boat, it's, or schooner, or whatever the hell the technical sailing term is. Don't murder me, not lists out there. And um, yeah, like it's you can't get certain boats in close to the shore because shallow. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I the, thought the, we the, 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 the keel on the hull will get damaged, so you know. Yeah, the thing in the stuff for expander. Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> I'm learning uh, to sail, guys. Yeah. I know these See? words. <laughs> Mariners. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, clearly I need a, a a lesson in how boats work. <laughs> I think the, the entire party could could benefit from that, right? Okay, so we're starting a second campaign, which was a prequel, which was the montage of the sailing academy we all signed up for. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I think that's maybe the idea. Maybe you want to phrase that to the group then um, and see what the results are of do we take to the seas again or do we go by land? So, comrades, do we go by land or by sea? The terrain ahead... How does the terrain ahead? Uh, I mean, like, Rinstad's in, the mount Rinstad's in the mountains, so... Oh, okay. It's like forests and mountains and... Yeah. Bumpy hills. Actually, from how far away we are, we wouldn't even be able. To, would we see the mountains that Runestan's on? Uh, yeah, they're pretty big. Okay. You could you couldn't see like Runestad specifically in the mountains, but you could see the mountain. Mhm. Mm yeah. Well, gentlemen, we can see the mountains, but we're still quite far. Do we go back by land and uh, 
keep a closer eye on our comrade Thea, or do we go by land? I think what he means is not by land or by land, but by sea or by land, I think is what I meant. Or oh, by sea and by land, yeah. yes. <laughs> I think that this was a simple error. I still, still trust Thea. I personally would like to go by sea along the coast. I'm beginning to get the hang of my fishing pole. You're probably still holding it in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> did you do anything so with the other, the like... We will make it. I was sorry, say, can I yeah, one, sorry, did we do anything with the other four out of interest? There's something I'd like to know. So during that journey, did you hand any out, or did you just keep all five? Cognac. It depends whether the group saw me fishing asked. So I, I would I'll... like to fish. I think I would have kept one for myself and offered the others. I would like to have taken one to try and improve on it. Not to actually fish, but be like, hmm, let's see if I can make this better. Sure, yeah. So, like, I guess you just put them in a pile, like an umbrella stand, and went, well, this one's mine. And off you went and started fishing and kind of left yeah. the group to it. Yeah, fine. That's okay. But like for a better journey, I would have sat next to and fish. It's fine, yeah. That can have happened. Um, the plan then. How are we moving forward? And he's going to leave the boat down here and travel up by land, or he's going to jump back in the boat and try and sail closer. We know what Thea's vote is. I believe the consensus was think, by sea. Yeah, I think the best bet's by sea because we can stick to the coast now. So sure, yeah, Just, you know. Need to go north. They just got us lost because it was open sea. Whereas now we can see the coastal line, so we can sit. I think no. lost is a strong Sorry, word. Thea's just gonna, we're just gonna go up this this, this <laughs> line here. <laughs> I think the other issue is that you maybe want to try and avoid as much contact with non non Runestead guy as mm -hmm. possible. And I suppose we also don't know the extent of the invasion. Correct. Mm -hmm. So by staying out to see if we can get a lay of the land and see what's actually happening. Mm. Well, we're along here, we just like to try and land. Uh, well, would it probably be best to see where the T ends? Right, okay, yeah, I see that. Like, agree with that. I would have said, I would have said here, purely because, um, like, over here, the... If if we're going if we're going by two way, seconds, let me zoom in a bit. Um, two hundred and fifty, that'll do. <laughs> yeah, um, I feel like it. It's easier access up here. It might be longer, but I feel like yeah. it, it's got a slight it's also less. Also, an inlet. Yeah. Just safer place to leave the boat. Um, whereas well, here maybe more direct, but it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd be okay with where that. See where the red circle is now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. that I mean, that's it, what I would it, say. It looks like where they'd be like, you know, badass that's TK parties. That's the, uh, I think we should be here. I'm okay oh, if right. I get another opportunity to fish. Well, so you want to go there? We... So mm -hmm. Let's get rid there. of it. All right. Uh, I keep clicking things and I'm not meant to. So, yeah, you go back to sea. I see you sailing. Yeah. Shaboom! Uh, attributes. At sailing, how are you doing this? All the work yourself or telling others to do work? I'm telling others to do work. Charisma then. Board off. Oh. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> the worst I can possibly do. I think maybe she, maybe she's, she's a bit, um, maybe a bit upset that everyone was like, oh, we're in the wrong place. Ah. So she's just... <laughs> So we have now ended off. up in the even more wronger place. No, as she as um as she's kind of like telling people what to do, um she's not being very clear at all. So she's like, right, grab the grab the grab the, and then like someone questions something. She's like, just grab it. <laughs> I'm not grabbing nothing, pal. <laughs> I make a, an active attempt to be super kind and obeying to Thea on this journey. <laughs> Listen precisely you, to what she tells me. To do. You wish the kind of thing, dude. <laughs> uh, I feel like the vagueness of what I'm saying, uh, you might need to like. Um, 
It's fine. It'll take it'll take a while to to figure out what I'm trying to say because I'm being very vague. But yeah, I, I'm very impatient. Cognac, do you want to give me survival with advantage because Lyod is probably helping? Okay. Cool. Yeah. Again, managed to feed people <laughs> enough on fish. Yep. Uh, Lyuda is not helping. No, Lyuda is mostly doing three. Lyuda lost a fishing pole. Damage control. <laughs> Stu is now banned from fishing. <laughs> the loss of a pole. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to make it cost you a pole. That seems unfair since it's a, an advantage roll and not actually a one. Um, <laughs> like maybe, maybe they dropped the pole and you had to jump in to get it. And maybe right, that's one, and maybe that's why yeah. maybe that's a better kind of use of the the narrative space there, because I like the idea that that's why you, you couldn't spend the whole day catching. You had to be like, oh god damn it, I need to go down, get the the pole, swim back up, you know. I was fishing with my trunk. And it's not as dexterous as my hands. No. <laughs> Every time you like Am swing I... it back, it kind of just pulls out of your trunk. <laughs> <laughs> throw it across the boat. Are you what cognac? I'm, I'm getting the picture that I might be getting enough fish to fill a barrel, but everybody else is just eating them as I catch them, yeah, and they're the, not building up. <laughs> yeah, so like people aren't eating the horrible preserves rations, they're eating your fish as you catch them, um, mostly because Thea is making this journey take way longer than it needs to. Um, and to be fair, it's not just Thea, everybody else also, so like Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, it's already like mounting up. So like twelve, fourteen. So like, t say two of our weeks to get to like there, and then if we went back out a bit, so fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Yeah. So it has essentially taken. A month to get to the wrong place. Nice. Whoopsie. Yeah. I think people might think that the rations haven't been eaten, but <laughs> flea bite is definitely <laughs> like, eating from from like the back, so it doesn't. It looks like there's loads, but it's it's actually just like front loaded. So all the ones in the back are also like gone. <laughs> Good to know. Flea bite eaten. Lots of rations. Lady Goldenfold will be so upset by all of this, whoever she is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so lost for one month. Cog, neck, fed party, fish, and flea bite. <laughs> mm -hmm. Still. Can, should I like roll to have, like stolen rations? Uh, I mean, I feel like, nah, I don't think you have to worry about that. It's, I think it's more just a case of nobody's really caring about the rations because of this fresh supply of fish, right? So, yeah, like I think we're we're good for that. But yeah, so you make land again, right? You've had a month at sea. I think there were many death threats and. Mm -hmm. I think, really? I think it's almost the you know amazing Lord of the Rings Fellowship leaving Rivendell music and scene and joy and happiness and colour palette as you make landfall the first time. Be like, yes, it was a long trip, you know, ten days, but we're finally here. <laughs> and then everybody goes, we're in the wrong place. Everybody back on the boat. And Thea smiling, <laughs> and then it clicks to you know the the full time being from Little Belner a month now and you finally land and everyone's miserable and not talking to each other and uh, mm -hmm. it's it's a lot grimmer. It's There's badly played fellowship music in the background. Yeah, it's on a it, it's on <laughs> like oh, an out of tune kazoo. On guitar. It's on an out of tune <laughs> <Yeah>. kazoo. <laughs> I have a kazoo. I have two. No. Stay focused. But I will not. Right, so he's a mid land again. So. Yeah, and just jump off the bike and sweet, sweet land, yay! Thea just stands there, crosses her arms, and like with that kind of expression on her face of like, well, there, there's land. Happy now. But she doesn't I see that. That's her expression. You. For your navigational skills and expertise. 
you are an invaluable member of this party. Thea puts. Are you gonna roll deception her. on that? Because like <laughs> le <laughs> legit. I am. Okay. I mean, you yeah, see? you're actually lying. Let's face it. She's made you guys take a month, which should have only taken like a couple of days. No, I'm I'm seeing right through that. I don't care what you say. <laughs> I, I would say thank you, Thea. I've learned a lot from you. Things to do, to things not to do. She puts on her like expressionless mask. Also, Thea, let's roll insight, just... shall we? Maybe before we we jump to no, what you no. can what you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to roll inside? Yeah, you do, buddy. <laughs> can we not just class it under my passive perception? No. Uh, I can't actually find insight. It's alphabetical. Insight is there. <laughs> it's insight. Now you can see it with confidence that you see through the bullshit. I see through your bullshit. Anyway, yeah, she puts on her um, expressionless mask and just gets off the boat. <laughs> Flea bite just sort of scampers past up the beach and <laughs> terrible silence. Yes. So I think what maybe. Can we see on land. <laughs> well, there's some land. Uh, it's like a really muddy like beach that you have dotted, so everything's a bit m like mock it. I think is the technical term, and. Uh, so, roll for initiative? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what, just put against, against Thea? Thea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah. I can't even just sail in straight line now. I think we'd have that thing where the, the sort of red orb that, like, sums her axe appears in her hand briefly as she's about to try and kill this thing and then stops herself because she actually does like the party but doesn't. This this whole scenario has been a total shit fest. I just sort of noticed this anger rising up. I'm like, shall we be on our way then? Well, we're in a muddy area, but is there any sign of people traffic foot in? Uh, nothing immediately. No, it's it just seems like a bit of coastline. I am. Um... There doesn't look like there was any, like, there's no, like, other boats or villages or, like, you know, clearings that might have been roads, right? And along the way, um, did we pass any fishing villages or anything? <laughs> no. Thea took you back out as far into sea as you would believe. <laughs> she rolled a one on our water vehicles, let's face it. Like, okay. I'd like to just, just before I hop off the boat, to deeply at my rod and say farewell old friend and then I'd like to cast it away just into the bucket that it was held in <laughs> but it's a deep moment for me and then I hop into the water and onto the shore okay yeah. now, I assume the ship is securely anchored Thea? I think Thea would stop and I think she would um, look at Alvin and be like, help me uh, secure the ship, please, after uh, hearing that from a deer. I'd walk over and be like, right, secure the ship. Um, and I'd just kind of like start looking at it and I would be like, right, secure the ship. I think and it's going to will... bomb it. No, I will <laughs> do some. Oh, well, crap! Did realize oh, that was basic. I will do some magical tinkering, oh, and God. I will just leave a message on the boat saying, "Do not steal." <laughs> okay. I think Thea yeah, gets on board and throws like like a, a painter off the, the the edge for someone to catch and maybe um, secure to like a boulder or something, and lowers like one of the anchors. And... Yeah, there's definitely Before an anchor, yeah. uh, Can I walk oh, up to the side? May I be of assistance? I think maybe like you would say that and then she would throw like the painter to you. Um, okay. What's a paint? What do you mean a a painter, painter is basically just a bit of rope for um, at, like at the front of uh, the, the a boat. Alright, okay. Cool. So okay. what are you writing on the ship? Because it's literally just words. Yep, so it is just going to be do. Oh. Do. 
Dude. It says Fandango. Do has. Do Do has me. What an odd name for a vessel. I wonder if it's pronounced do. So it's like if anyone were to touch the boat, just these letters would just kind of like pop out, almost quite like like. Why, it, why don't instead of that, like you make it the audible thing, right? Because that that seems more apt for a car alarm. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Can it please be like he stumbles though when he's saying it? So it's like do do. Do, do not steal, please. <laughs> and then people are locked in a logic puzzle going, does that mean we have to steal or not to steal? Do, <laughs> do, do not steal. <laughs> so, um, and then, like, yeah. maybe one of the do's is, like, ambiguous. It's like, D was that a stutter or was that a do? Ah. Why is there a question mark in the middle of it? Like... <laughs> Uh, anyway, so whenever tapped by a creature, the object emits a recorded message that can be heard up to 10 feet away. How about that? Yeah, and I am, um, like... So if anyone was to like look at me just now, I'm kind of like whispering, like cupping over and like whispering into the boat this, this, this phrase, and then it'd be like, "What the hell are you doing?" And then it'd be like, just like tap the boat, and then it just goes like, "Do not steal. We shall be back soon." But in Alvin's voice, doing that accent, told the dead. Yep. <laughs> Okay. Like, I thought if I made my voice late, lower, it would sound scarier. Okay. Right. Is that part of the recorded message? No, no. no. <laughs> it's actually the, the part where he stops doing the voice and leans back, guys, come listen to this really cool message I just put on our boat. <laughs> then it cuts <laughs> off. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so Thea, like, you hear that after Alvin taps the, I guess, the mast of the ship. Um, yeah. I think she'll she'll probably like smile under a mask at that. She wouldn't say anything, but she'd be like, "Yeah, that's 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 suitably mad for 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 our dear friend Tink." But do I actually say anything? Just yeah, don't say anything. Okay, she's smiling because she's wearing her mask. I don't see her smile anyway, so it's good. it's all good. So, from Alvin's point of view, he went to this minute of magical craftsmanship, and then you just look at him and then walk off the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, makes sense. Um, Straight into the water. Right, cool. So I guess the ship's secured. Um, yeah, these are all on land. You start making your way off the muddy beach. And mm -hmm. yeah, there's just forest ahead. And What kind of trees? Uh, we're not getting into that. Wood trees, obviously. It would be kind of useful if we could get into that. The wood nope. that the box is made of? Oh, wrong. <laughs> no. Which box? Is it the other box? Is this where the other box is? Was it in my game the whole time, is this, Callum? Is this, is this, yes. <laughs> palm pie. Palm pie. Anyway, no. Palm pie box. I think what Ewan really meant to say there was, Ryan, I want to know this answer, but to know that, I would need these other pieces of information. So, what are you getting at, Lauda? Are there any spruce trees? Or nope, nope. What What are you getting at? What's the end goal? Skip to the I end. I have a, a spell that has a required component of mistletoe and spruce. Okay. Uh, roll a d20. Okay. Sure. You got them. Yeah. But you had them from like that year of doing stuff. <laughs> they're yeah. just in your pocket but also remember people that are doing daily spell lists especially anyone that's a cleric or a, a druid I want you to like snipping to me the list of prepared spells per day okay. so send me your prepared list for today that doesn't really affect anybody else that isn't um, quite frankly we only have a druid at the moment the druids and clerics can pick from like the entire list at any point. And I can only prepare so many. Wizards are even more complicated because wizards. I am wizards. Yep. Laughs at Warlock. Perfect. Or is that witch? Who knows? Right, so I uh, yeah. What's the plan? You can see the mountain ahead. Shall we hit the mountain? 
I believe the best course of action is to head off towards the mountain, as we know that is where the town is. Um, I would gladly Good. take point. Sure. Yeah. Um, I think is like everyone's starting to kind of get their things together and being like, yeah, yeah, cool, right, okay, getting ready to set off. I'll just kind of walk over to Cognac and be like, I've uh, I've prepared something for you um, as a as a thank you for all the help you gave me on my research, and I will start doing a bit of oh crap sorry wrong one uh, yeah so you're you're just kind of see me like and. Uh, using uh, infuse item, and it will be that on your suit of armor. No, sorry, not on your you. shield. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, I, I was kind of reading the top line and then. <laughs> uh, what is yeah. the thing that lets you do that? I have uh, arcane focus. No, no. What's the thing that lets you do enhanced defense? Paste that ability, please. Enhanced defense is a thing of something. Yeah, yeah, infused item up above it. Alright, okay. So. Just looking for the action economy and all that. Long rest, I think it says. Yeah. Oh, like, do you wear armor? No. No, he's got a shield, though. Okay. I can wear armor, but it doesn't give me anything. But yeah. I can use a shield. Same. Yeah, I think it's just a long rest, so that's fine. Yeah, just a long rest before I can do it again. Um, so yeah, so you, I, I just kind of go like this view and like I pull out this kind of wee rod thing and yours is like, uh, and then it just kind of like so bang Scott, it again. Scott, we're going to yeah. slow you down because you're like on crack or something, but Sorry. you're RPing for every day. You need to just slow it down and say, Alvin starts doing this. Does anybody question it? No. Nobody looks around, or like you're starting to testify for everybody's role play here. So slow it down. Right, okay. Sorry. It's okay. I, I know you're excited. Time. It's fine. I like it. But ah! when, when you're role playing, it's not just okay. So Alvin does this, then you you say this, and then I say this back. You don't get to do mm -hmm. that. You can propose invitation for responses, but that's it. Okay. Um. So yeah. I also lied. I don't panic. But I'm moving. We shall rewind a bit. So I've basically said things like, I've uh, prepared something for you as a help for all my res uh, for helping with my research. Um, and I start to pull out my wee magic rod, rod thingy. Mm hmm. Just pulling that out, are you? <laughs> Did you turn my fishing rod into a magic rod? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is one I already had. I see. Um, could you show me your shield, please? Narratively, or I, I no, are... like he's, he's in character, be in character yeah. for as long as you can. Um, I slowly turn and look down and then to my shield and without saying anything, hold my hand out with the shield. Um, I was just like, thank you. Um, and then you're just again see me whisper something into the rod, and then I will just please like, don't make my shield talk. <laughs> I will bang uh, the rod off the shield, at which you kind of just see almost like a kind of glitter effect run through all the kind of oh. cracks, like all the kind of um, like crevices and stuff of the shield, and now there's just a kind of you know wee bit of a glittery shimmer to it and yeah that'll be it with its enhanced defense infused i'll be like this should uh come in handy uh when it comes to uh you know defending yourself um i'd probably be like oh the thank thanks a lot yeah that, that's that's really great and then I bash the shield, and then can I do like a perception check to see if I notice if it's any better or not? 
Um, I mean, is there any like after effect of the magic, or is it just? just... Yeah. So the after, sorry, the after effect is just like there's a kind of it's almost like somebody's kind of sprinkled glitter on it. There's just this kind of nice shite, like sparkliness to it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you even need a roll perception. It's sparkly now. Hmm. Oh, thanks. That's it's like the difference. It's like the difference between a normal Pokemon card and a shiny Pokemon card. <clears throat> Stealth minus one. Mm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Cognac, if you're quite finished letting uh, Alvin take out his small rod and make you all shiny, uh, shall you take point with me? Um. Yes. Fine. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Good. It's perfect. Um. My Ryan, uh, when I equip that, do I have to then um, manually put my AC up? Or... Probably. Doesn't it just become a plus one shield now? Yeah, but you'll still need to edit it so that it does that. So, yeah. see the thing we made to fix your AC? Yeah. I oh, just... I'll just put that up when I, I... equip my shield. Yeah. Like, you know you're meant to be 17 normally, and then anything else you're adding on. Yep. Right, so, cool. Yep. Beefy boy. Thank you. It's being a turtle, right? So I guess. <laughs> yep. Um So Yeah, Lauda. Lauda would like to um walk up to Fleabag and say, um do you care to scout ahead with me? Did you miss the part where they two are scouting ahead? Or is it They're at the front of the party, like leading. Oh, okay. Whereas we would be in like stealthing and running ahead. Ah, and yeah, I get you. Hey, changing type now. Are you not? Are you doing anything before you scout ahead at all? I'm like? going to wild shape into a fox. Okay, so you're not casting pass without trace. Uh, no. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Yep. So Markov use a wild shape. Uh, obviously, MDLs that have, are doing things mark off the uses of whatever else you've done. Uh, and yeah, um, obviously, obviously I'm not. I don't mark it off, but just I've got um, armor of shadows on. Yeah, that's cool. Do you have that as a a global as modifier? I'll I'll fix that for you now. I got your sheet. So you've got global damage modifiers. Let me just mess around with your sheet just now and add a global AC modifier. And then you can deal with the rest of that, right? That's pretty self-explanatory now, isn't it? Middle of your sheet. I think so, yeah. Cool. cool. I'll let you deal with the rest of that then. Um, okay. So, where are you going to go? Are we going to have them point in a direction and then use guys to go ahead that direction for a bit? Like, what's the. Yeah. That's the Generally plan. Just towards the mountain, I believe. Yeah, sure. Uh, cool. Uh, flea bite and uh, louder then. You can give me a, a stealth check first. I need them independently, okay. obviously. Do I just do a uh, d20 and then tell you the stealth from the fox? So you don't have do... what? Have you made a fox character yet? No. Oh, well, hmm. you send me the link. Yeah, so you'll just need to use that then. Okay. Yeah. So I can just do like a roll d20 plus four. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. If that's what his dex is or whatever, or if it has a stealth skill. Yeah, I think those are pretty good, to be honest, yeah. Uh, I will keep note of those. Right, so, Lauda and Fleabite. And I've got a 20 and a 17. Yeah, cool. Uh, right, cool. And since you're both scouting ahead, you can somebody can roll Perception with advantage. I don't care which one of you is. Uh, I, have I have bad Perception, so... I have a plus three, so. uh, I have plus five. No, it's the two people scouting. Oh, oh the two people scouting. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. 
You well, I was paying attention, but I wasn't paying then, attention. Then you failed your <laughs> perception. I failed my perception. Yeah. Sorry. Um, do proficiencies carry over to the... No, they don't, do they? No, nothing carries over. You're working purely from that sheet. Yeah. So how do I roll advantage from like just using the chat thing? Just or do I just roll it twice? You just roll it twice, yeah. And you can just click in the chat, push up on the D-pad, and hit enter again to do the same maths. Yeah. Wow. Holy shit. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we see everything! <laughs> I like to believe that Fleabite still like says everything that Fleabite finds to the fox, and then mm. possibly just assumes the fox can um, interpret back the way. I like, to, I like to think that we've just sort of had a bit too much time to sort of like play it around. Like, I was having a lot of fun just being a fox and climbing trees and running around and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. So we sort of forgot to look around. Can I have a survival role from the two people leading the party now? I don't care who's taking the lead, as it were, but I know there was two of you, so... Yeah. I think that's between Cognac and... Uh... No, no, these are, these are missing the part where if you are both working on something, one person rolls with advantage, so... Who is going to take oh. the lead on that? I'll, I'll uh, take the lead there. Yep, he takes the lead. Okay, so it's 10 or 10, then? So what? It's 10 or 10, because you're already rolled, and you got a 10. Uh, okay, uh, 10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, nice, good I mean, you can see the mountain, so it's still in front of you. So everything's going well. Is it quite a thick forest, or...? Yeah, it is. It's, it's very much like nobody lives here, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's no obvious footpaths or anything? There's no, nothing like that at terrain. all. Um, right. Weirdly as well, there's not much in the way of wildlife use of... Um, very quiet. Like, Only yeah. fox tracks and rat tracks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we styles really well. Uh, it's, it's true, yeah. It is. Um, cool. So, yeah, I, I guess they're stealthing out ahead, and then you are just slow, like, what, a couple of, like, what, 15 minutes behind or something? Like, I don't know, 10 minutes behind? Whatever. Um, a reasonable distance. I'd say shouting distance. Like, well, okay, yeah. Only like a five minute kind of distance mm -hmm. there or less, uh, yeah. Because we don't want to split the party too much, and they're scouting for us, mm -hmm. so it'd be important that they either one can shout back or they can make it back to us quickly so as we can be on guard. Because if it's such a thick forest, we really don't want to split the group too mm -hmm. much. Cause yeah. then, but then are they trouble. perceiving the distance very well? Uh, they're mm -hmm. perceiving nothing very well, quite frankly. <laughs> um, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. The floor is indeed made of slower. <laughs> also, I love how Alexander, you didn't call it anything fancy, like the armor or anything. What, what, why did you just name it defense? That's so dull. Get your armor of shadows. You named it that. defense. No, that was default. I said I left this up to you. And I changed the important part. <laughs> the role play is the important part, Alexander. <laughs> the role play. You also spelled the defense wrong. I didn't type that. I told you that was auto-generated when I clicked the thing. This is this is a rule twenty sheet problem. Oh sheet, <laughs> yeah. Somebody needs a wee time out, do they? Okay. Oh, what are you even on about? <laughs> uh, we're editing his sheet so that his armor of um, shadows has like a button he can push. All right. Yeah, it's because it's a spell that doesn't cost him anything to cast, so he's obviously always going to try and have it on, hmm. which makes sense, right? Because of how squishy it is. Fair enough. So, yeah. Fix your shit, flea bite. God. So, meanwhile. What's the overall mood? I, I would say this has maybe like been going on for... Well, it's going to take you, what? I'd say three days to hit the mountain, right? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Well, yeah. Um, well, that's not too bad. I would recommend to the party that we scout 
for somewhere that we can set up a camp. As we've just been at sea, we'll travel as long as we can, but the first, you know, fresh water and somewhere we can set up for the night might be a good shout. Yeah, well, I'm already skipping a lot of this stuff anyway, so don't worry about that. Cool. <laughs> we're skipping for three days. Yeah, we're skipping the, the dull three days. I, uh... um, cool. So I'm not going to add my wild shape because I feel like I would do that every day. Yeah, I feel like also you only get, what, two hours of it every day? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to assume that that's been burnt out entirely. What says he gets two hours of a day? It doesn't matter, it's well, not your character. It's, um... Right. So, yeah, these are probably there, right? Probably three days later, and these are about to, like, hit party runestead. Um, have we still not noticed any animals or stuff? Nope. And what do we see approaching? I need every day to mark off rations, though. Uh, oh. Three days, yeah. Right. Three days worth of rations, yeah. Um, you just need one. I only had two. Well, you're dead. <laughs> I was going to say I only have one. <laughs> Anyone that I'm had chosen a backpack. Go read what your backpack gave you, because that would have been in character gen. It's just, again, Roll20 doesn't like doing a lot of the admin. That, remember when I said to everybody, do you have any admin? And everyone was like, no, we're all good. Uh, Check your backpacks. Okay. So I only had two, but I'd like to assume on the first day I took fish. <laughs> Is that two you're reading the weight? Yeah, these are all probably reading the weight. Oh, yeah. you yep. had a backpack. Mm -hmm. You should have had ten days of rations, I believe. But I am checking that just now. A backpack can hold one cubic foot or around thirty pounds of gear. You can. That's also... the stats of a backpack. You need. To, it's your specific <laughs> pack that you were given in character gen that matters, Scott. Oh, like, like right. an explorer's pack, a dungeoneer's pack, a priest pack. A... Right. Ah, right. Okay, All of those right. ones. Yeah. You just if you type pack into the. Uh, Compendium. It gives you the list of all the packs. Ah, right. Yes. Hopefully, that will remind you of what you were given in character gen. If not, you then need to go look up what you were given. Ah, uh, found it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But I the weight good. is two, so do not change the weight column, which is on the right. It's <laughs> no. the quantity column on the left. Yeah. Don't worry. It's getting used to stuff. It'll happen. Uh, my computer's being extremely sluggish, so I'm quickly opening Roll20 on the tablet to see if it's going to be any faster. But I don't have a mouse with the tablet, so that's going to be it. That's fine. Just let uh, me know whenever these fix their inventories, please. I have mine. Good. Okay, okay. Um, Who still has to fix their inventory was a better question. I do. Cool, that's fine. What about Thea? Why is Thea so quiet? No. I'm sorry. Cool. See the oh, rope? Right. Do we just leave it as one? Or do we change it to the length? The what? The rope. Hempen rope. It says I've got 50 feet of it. Should I just leave it as one rope? Well, yeah, because it is one rope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, cool. No, if that's it, I need to go sort out Adair's inventory for him. Okay. And then we'll deal with Does... that in a second. Sorry. I don't know why you're still trying to talk when I said hold on. Um. Right, so in infantry, um, right. when it comes to rations, do you just click on it? It's been done. Oh, no. Nope. So, it's been done. I've changed it to 10. Now, everybody, you are marking off 3. Right, so I don't know why I changed yours 2, 3. There we go. I marked, my, I marked too much off mine. Excellent. I just changed mine to 3 as well. Cool. Also, no, there was no. The, the fish were getting you here because you were at sea for a full month. Um, mm -hmm. I'm assuming every day at fish, mm -hmm. and made sure that your rations were topped up from the ship's rations, hence yeah. whatever he's yeah, carrying, so we did 10. Have rations, yeah. uh, well, you did have. <laughs> Fleabite might have made sure some of that's gone. Um, <laughs> Quite a big burp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Ryan, how yes. does the water skins work? What do you mean? Is it, one p is it one per day, or is it...? Technically it's two per day. Um, so I'm going to just assume that you have been stopping to try and, you know, fill Very these cool. up in various ways. Um, I'll this let you lake. know when it becomes a big problem, but yeah, you did pass a fucking huge lake, so I don't Yay! really think that's that big an issue currently. Um, 
Anyone that wants to have added a water skin to them, they can have an additional one from the ship. I don't really care about that because the ship I'm would have doing had that one. Because I do not have one. Okay. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't have one? Because I mean, did you not get a backpack of some kind? You probably should have. Yeah, but it's not in my inventory. Then apparently not. I've had inventory problems since day one. Apparently. We that's okay. But we remade your character, so it should we did be remake fine. my character. But water skin's not there. That's oh. okay. Do you know what? I'm probably just not. Re no, it's there. Never mind. I'm gonna <laughs> add it. There we go. How do I delete it? There we go. Ignore me. Okay. Yeah. I was like, I'm pretty sure I made your second character, so I'm pretty sure it's, it works. Anyway, so this is obviously as a couple hours into day three of Oh Dear God, Why Did We Accept This Mission? We are unprepared for this. Um, we should have just stayed in the city and let the, the, the plot happen here. Um, <laughs> it's a very long operation title, Alvin probably named it. Um, but yeah, can I have some survival checks from the navigation team? And I would like some stealth checks from the stealth team, and then obviously some perception checks from the stealth team. Mm. Perfect. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Content goes, perhaps we should go this way. The mountain's there, but this way. <laughs> it looks it just like feels the, right. It looks like the steep mountain and goes, I don't want to climb that. <laughs> Are we doing advantage perception again? Uh, yes, if you're uh, helping with that, and obviously flea bite. Right, okay, so your stealths weren't as good, but that's fine. They're still decent. Perception's better. Much better, yes. Aren't you glad for that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so much better. We stopped messing around. And... I was wondering why I couldn't see Rose. I was still on the compendium tab. <laughs> Last time they were focusing too much on stealth. <laughs> the um yeah, they were that stealthy they forgot to actually look at anything. Um <laughs> both of sitting in the uh, Mission Impossible theme tune in our heads and just shut, to look around. No, you shut your eyes and obviously if you can't see them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't want that. So yeah. Uh, however, you you and Fleabite, um this would be you. Uh, at the tail end of being a fox, by the way, remember, no pun intended. Yeah. Um, I did say it was already a few hours into the day, so mm. um, you're running out of fox go go power. Um, but yeah, you start to hear some. What's that great word? Commotion? In the ocean? No, you're fairly. You're three days from the ocean, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, There's a lake near you, Fire. Um, so there's some some commotion, and you happen upon a clearing of sorts, like a kind of um, what's the best way to describe this? Um, I presume I am up a tree. I mean, you can presume that if you like. Um, I'm not. I don't have a climb speed as a. Yeah, I think then what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll put everybody... Let's see. I'll just draw around you, so that's what I'll do. Uh, I'll make that a really obvious colour. Okay, so that should be fine. And then I'll edit this. So we'll have some... Uh, yeah, so you sneak ahead and I'll move everybody but only certain people will be able to see. Hopefully. If the lighting worked Ooh. right. So that only the people scouting ahead should be able to see. That might not be true though. Based on I can see me. Oh dear. That's fine. I see darkness. That's fine. That's the deliberate. Video. Darkness. Um... Ah, oh, right, okay. Oh, you, okay. You just don't need to touch your tokens. It's only the two people that were scouting ahead that. Need yeah, to no, I, just, I, I, I was just zoomed in too far so I couldn't even see where my token was. <laughs> I see, that's okay. Oh, is my token meant to be there? Because I don't. I just see darkness. That's, that's, that's deliberate. Like, your, your token is here. Uh, I'll just 
fix that for everybody, um, I guess, by doing that. So everyday. Oh, nice. That should be like, that is cool. But again, ignore your tokens. These are in darkness for a reason. So, the people scouting. That would be Fleabite and mm. Loud. So, um, well, I can't talk. Loud, uh, yeah, I was going to say, I need you to um, roll a d6. You've got four four rounds. Four rounds. Like yeah, like uh, turns, like si like, you know. Yeah. Twenty four okay, seconds of being a fox. Yeah. Hmm. How far ahead of the group are we? I mean, they're where they are, right? I'm. I'll, I'll fix that in a second. But they'll they'll be starting at that side of the map. So, so this, um, this here is going up. That's a cliff going up. Everything's going up. So we're in like a valley. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, I presume I would probably not be speaking because the AI know um, can't reply. I'm just like um, doing the like two fingers pointing at my eyes and then at them. I nod. Like, shh, shh. <laughs> I sort of look up this cliff and sort of squeak a little bit. Oh yeah, I presume you just sort of like do some semi Star Wars nod point at it. Yeah, as a fox, as much as a fox can be. Yeah. <laughs> cool. You're at three rounds. Um, oh shit! Um, can... mm -hmm. I want to run this way behind this hill. So I'm not in sight of them. Cool. Yep, when you get there you'll have two. Uh, so if you want to just move that way. Uh, okay. And I would like to climb up the tree. You would like to what, sorry? Climb up the tree that we're in. You're in the tree. Okay, that's fine. You said you wanted to be in the tree. So, yeah. <laughs> that's as far as I can get, apparently. That's 40 feet. Okay, cool. So everybody else... Um, Realistically, are you gonna just be a fox there with Everdale, or are you gonna actually turn back and tell them the, what you if see? There, I can't see them, so I don't know how far away they are. Yeah, you, are they there? I'm asking you now. What are you doing? Well, if they're, if I can see them, if they're close, I want to tell them. Otherwise, I want to go up this hill. Try and climb this. Is that possible? Hey, if you want, yeah. Do you, you've got a climb speed, right, as a fox? No. Yes, uh, maybe? No? Not on this, no. What's your speed? Uh, 40 feet. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. You'll get up there, but then you'll be louder. Yeah. So as soon as I get there, I'm going to try and like stealth behind some of these trees. Sure, you can get up there and you can roll stealth. As louder. Oh god. Why is stealth as louder so bad? Because you're an elephant. <laughs> Giant elephant man! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm so confused. Cool. <laughs> uh, God damn it. Yeah, brilliant. So, you guys still have no idea what's going on, just so you just know? Um, None at all. No. What's um, can, can I cast Silent Image um, of, and just do like the. Basically, like the token um, next to that, next to the group. So you want to cast out an image of what? Sorry, tell me what you're like. Um, of the the token, you know the um, the the invaders. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, um, what range is your silent image? Sixty feet. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Does it have a verbal or somatic component? It does not. Okay. No components okay. at all? Um, as in it doesn't make sound or... No, sound. no. Casting it. Nope, I can... Uh, without expending spell slots or material components. Right, okay, so look up the spell and tell me if it's got any other components. Does it have a VS or a CN extra? Because you're still casting a spell. 
VSM. Yes, VSM. Okay, so it is, you still need to be able to speak and you need to be able to move your hands and it's the material part, the bit of fleece that you don't need to cast. Right? That's what that translates as, FYI. Okay, okay. Perfect. Cool. Uh, yeah, I, I will need to make a roll. Uh, this. Okay. Right. You are no longer considered stealth flea bite. Just so you know. Because you're casting a spell and that brings you out of stealth. Is that just um, that they can because they heard me or is that just Yeah, that? so casting a spell means you're no longer considered stealth. It is a thing. Um so it means that you wouldn't you would need to then hide again, like to go back into stealth, right? As a state that you exist in. And yes, you could imply that maybe they have heard you because you are casting and casting's at like a an audible volume. Um because casting was designed to not be stealthy at all. Hence why you get things that make casting stealthy if you're a sneaky wizard. And by that I mean a sorcerer. Um, <laughs> the sneakiest of wizards. So, uh, you've done that, so describe what the party see. Use, like, describe what they would see appear in front of them. Um, so it's... I want you to use I'm all... I'm just trying to... What size it is. Um, so yeah, it's... I, I would probably just uh, slightly smaller than... Um, probably like smaller than uh, tank sized. Or no, we'll just call it tank sized, um, and there'll be a six um, of those regular ones, and then that one extra one. Well, what can your silent image be of? Um, I think we anything within fifty. So you can, you, can, you can create the image of an object, a creature, or some other visible phenomenon that is no larger than a fifteen foot cube. I create the image of a picture of five of those guys standing next to each other, with, uh, six of those guys standing next to each other, with the seventh one as well. I feel like the fact that it says a creature, no. I mean, I feel like you could draw stick figures, <laughs> and that could be your visible phenomenon, right? Um, and then it, okay, so it can be just what I see. <laughs> no. No. Otherwise, okay. it, it that, wouldn't specify yeah. a creature, right? I would just do then that one creature. Um, of the, the main one that there's six of. Right, okay, yeah, sure. So basically, whatever he sees is a tank sized invader that everybody was attacked by back in the initial invasion. Mm. But, like, you know, not quite T pose, but like <laughs> very much so. It looks like it's, you know, it's clearly not, um, like, real. <laughs> it's, it's, like, completely unanimated and just. Oh yeah, like it's quite clearly like just a picture that you've probably been I don't know, is this a tactic flea bites used before? There's a better question. Is this how flea bite helps go? I've definitely used it before with louder. I'm not sure I've used it for the others. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I can imagine they may have used it with me to describe a race where we had to go somewhere. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you just get that um that visage, does it make you guys actually speed up to catch up with the group or do you just go the other way and leave them to it? Stay on guard and be cautious. Okay. Weapons drawn. I see. Anybody else doing anything else? Mm. Have a shield <laughs> equipped. <laughs> shield equipped. <laughs> <laughs> funny, <laughs> funny that, right? Uh, Lyra, yeah. you can't. You're not doing stuff. You're not in that group. You've already, uh, you've already done stuff. 
If everyone's freaking out, I'm summoning my axe. I mean... No, no one's freaking out. Oh, no, if everyone's, like, drawing weapons and pulling out shields and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's a lot different from freaking out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's what I meant. We have seen this lovely, badly drawn picture sent to us, which we suspect is flea bite. <laughs> and we've gotten our weapons out to either attack him for his artistic skills or he's warning us of something. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Um, if, you do, if, if, yeah, if everyone's drawing their weapons and their shields and stuff, she would, like, stand, like... She would take a step forward and just summon her axe. Okay, I'll position you all in a second. Um, I was going to say, would I be able to summon up a cannon? Don't know. What's the timing of it? Uh, use an, uh, you can take an action to magically create a smaller, tiny Eldritch cannon. Sure. Um, cool. My next question... How loud is that? Like, how loud is it? Yeah, um, what does it say? Does it have any indication of um, volume? Uh, in an unoccupied space on a horizontal surface within five feet of you, a small edge can, cannot occupy space. In it. So when it says like a space you can see, does it then say you speak a command word and does it anything like that? No, nothing about. Oh, want me to put it in chat? Sure. But I'm not. I'm not seeing anything that says about. Um, I'll have very long descriptions of spells. The artificer is actually horrible for it, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Almost as bad as my wild shape. Right. Almost. <laughs> so are we in a valley? Yeah. Right. And the others, right. Look, Tink, dead students. Yay! Uh, no, I'm not seeing anything about sound, so, yeah. Uh, I take it it's the small one you're making, because that's what you made? Yes, uh, the small one, and it will be the force ballistic. Cool. Type all that in chat, just so it's at least noted oh. somewhere. No worries. Um, do you want me to give you an image for the token? Uh, I mean, I've found one. But if you've got a better one, sure. But I don't intend to sit and make a token just now. That was what admin questions were. That's a fine cannon. Right, right, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, wow, you've got an actual cannon. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, that's super cool. <laughs> um, uh, it needs to be how close to you when it's summoned? Five feet. So it's like literally the next space beside me. Yeah, so it's there. Uh, Within five feet of you, yeah. Cool. Uh, right, now as you start to approach obviously you just get this far and then weirdly time stops and here we are. <laughs> um, I need to make a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 I need to do a d6. <laughs> okay, cool. So, uh, shall we roll initiative, everybody? Certainly. It might take a moment for it to thingy because laptop, but I shall try. Make sure you're I clicking your token. Board. It's okay. We. disappeared. For once in my life I've got a good initiative rule. For once in my life. <laughs> <laughs> For once in my life. We definitely don't want that. I'm pretty bad at this actually. Wow. <laughs> I guess <laughs> I'll go on three, seven. But... <laughs> I'm I'm actually okay with doing pretty poorly in my initiative currently. Mm -mm. Uh, let me just adjust how we're looking at this for everybody at home so that they can see louder and they can move the initial order somewhere less intrusive. Uh, that can be there. Uh, your ballista goes in your turn, doesn't it? 
tink. Uh, yes, yeah, so as a bonus action, uh, as that. Uh, what I mean is, how long action. does it last as well? Per like, what's the the longevity of it? How long do you uh, summon it for? Tell you just now. So uh, once you create a cannon, you can't do so until you. Uh, an hour. Uh, I think it's an hour. Um, so you can find that out. Uh, is everybody on the tracker? Is anybody not on the tracker? I'll order I'm it. not. Uh, my uh, Chrome, the version I was using there, the tweety thing, cheeky, uh, I can't remember his name. Uh, to say Canary, crash, yeah. Uh, so I'm it's okay. Canary, that was it. Do you want me to roll it uh, for so you, I, or do you want to roll it? Uh, well, it's just reloaded, so I've just come back. I yeah. can see my guy, and let's hope it's got the bugs out of its system. Mm -hmm. Well, we can hope. <laughs> yes. Come on, our computer. Yeah, cool. I'm not going to track an hour of this because combat should not take an hour's <laughs> yeah. worth of rounds. That's what you think. What health does It'll it have? <laughs> <laughs> um, I was just looking at that, the next thing. Uh, so it has an AC of 20 and a number of hit points equal to 5 It's a thousand rounds, sorry, level. is it not? If it's an hour. Is it not something ridiculous like that? Or am I totally wrong? Yeah. Oh, no, it must be. One minute is 10 turns. Mm -hmm. So. 60 minutes, 600. Oh, okay. So 600. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's 15 hit points as well, so 5 times my artificial level. So, right, so yeah. it's got fif 15 then, right? Yeah, 3 times 5 and an AC of 18. And I'll pop that in an AC of 18. Cool. You should see those stats on it now as well. Did mine show uh, an initiative? It's shown as 24 HP. Or is that me? I think that's me. That's you. you that's on, me. Did you click on it? I can't click on it. Uh, let me just edit that so that you can. Uh, it is a generic token and it can be controlled by Elven. There we go. Save. Got it now? Yay! Cool. As long as that makes sense. Uh, yeah, it's showing up now, buddy. I'll cool. add that in. Right, cool. Uh, we'll take a break there for dramatic effect and we'll come back sure. at 9. So I'll see everybody at a uh, nine. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.